What's up everybody, I am Jesse from Mole and the Maker and today we are going over how to build a simple garden fence. So this garden fence, I wanted to make it simple enough where I could complete it relatively fast in just a couple days. Since it's a 40 foot span, I mean, it is a good, good sized fence, but we also wanted to make it high enough that my dogs couldn't jump over. So it's about five feet high as well. So when you watch this build, you're, you don't have to build it this high. You could actually take the exact same concept, make it smaller, it'll still look really, really good. Now let's get into the build. The first step is to concrete some posts into the ground. So I pulled a string line from one end of my pergola to the fence, tied it off, made sure it was level. After it was level, I went through and marked where each post would be with the gate in the middle of the fence. I start by digging out the holes, adding some rock at the bottom, and now cementing my four by four posts into the ground. So I leave the posts extra long so that way I can take a square, mark off where they need to be, and actually cut um, them completely flush all at one time instead of trying to figure out the depth of the holes and making sure that they fit properly. So the two middle ones where the gate's gonna be, I left extra tall because I'm gonna make an archway to actually enter into the garden. After all the tops are cut, it's time to move on to some of the side supports. So we drilled these side supports on the inside of the garden because you don't wanna see them from the outside when you're looking at the fence. So I drilled them in from the back and attached them just on the back side. So after the side supports, we went on and we started cutting the chicken wire. Uh, it's not really chicken wire, I think it's cattle wire or horse wire, it's the bigger squared ones because we think it looks better, but you can use chicken wire as well. Um, we went through and, and laid that down and attached it to the side supports. So we take that chicken wire and we throw it up on the side supports and we used a staple gun to staple it in place. Then we took another board and put it on the outside of the fence and sandwiched the chicken wire together so that way it's completely tight and there's no way it can actually come apart. We also added some cross beams along the center to keep the, the wire from moving in and out because you're gonna have some flex. So having that cross beam, you can staple it to it and now it has a lot more stability. And so even if my dogs run at it or run into it or my kids try to climb on it, it's not just gonna fall apart or bow. Now we're moving on to the archway and we're adding two by fours along the top. Now, since I had the posts pretty similar height, I actually didn't have to cut them off because you're never gonna see the top. Since we're adding those top pieces and just putting them on both sides, we just made sure those were level, screwed them in, and we were good to go. Now it's time to move on to the gate. The gate is the exact same way as the side supports. We basically made a frame, stapled uh, the chicken wire to it, then sandwiched that chicken wire together, added the, a cross beam, and then added the hinges and hardware. And that's pretty much it. It's a really simple build. Uh, it's not very complicated. All you need is a drill and a circular saw and you can complete the whole project. It looks really aesthetically good. We're really happy with the result. Let me know what you think. Shoot your comments and your suggestions, tips, anything like that down in the comment section. I'd love to hear them. Visit my website for any free plans or plans on other projects that I do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you liked the video, hit that like button and we'll see you guys next time.